Hi everyone, my name is Harvey Michi and today I will let you know how to build a proof of the assistance VR. This tutorial illustrates how to create a custom proof of assistance with POD service using the subtrade blockchain development framework and the frame library. Proof of Extensions is an approach to validating the alterant CD and ownership of digital objects by using the object information stored on the blockchain. Because the blockchain associates a timestamp and a signature with the object, the blockchain record can be used to verify and search as proof that a particular object existed at a specific date and time. It can also verify who the owner of the record was at the date and time. Yeah, you can store it any many files such as the image, the document, in the blockchain by this digital objects and hashes. The hashes is a encrypted code. Instead of individual files, the blockchain stores the digital records using the cryptographic hash. The hash enables the blockchain to store files of the arbitrary size attachingly by using a small and unique hash value because any change to the file would result in a different hash. Users can put the validity of the file by computing the hash and the co comparing hash with the hash stored function. See this our file and with the hash we will receive the code and it's a valuable value with the hex digital objects and account signatures blockchains use public keys to map digital identities to the accounts that have previous keys. And you can see we have a public key and private keys. And is public key maybe a the wallet address and private keys is your password? Maybe the the blockchain records the account you use to store hash for digital objects as part of the transaction because the account information is stored as a part of the transaction. The controller of the account can later prove ownership as a person who initially uploaded the file. I need to complete this tutorial maybe up in approximately one to two hours to complete. Before you begin, yeah, you need to verify the following. You can configure your environment for subtrade development by installing REST and REST to chain. It's we uh, install it in previous lesson in the first subtray on the current lesson you can complete it to uh, create your first subtray blockchain and have the node and front end templates installed yeah we installed it in the lesson one create the first subtray you are generally familiar 
with software development and use color line interfaces. By completing this tutorial, you will accomplish the following objectives. Learn the basic structure of the custom palette. See examples of how a smart code simplify the code you need to write. Start the blockchain mode that begins a custom count at the front end code that exposes the proof of its hesitance code. Design the application. The proof of hesitance application exposes the following callable functions. Create claim allows a user to claim the existence of the file by uploading a function. We got claim allows the current owner a claim to revoke ownership. These functions only require you to store information about the proofs that have been claimed and we make those claims. View a custom parent. Here you can see the subtree frame palette. The subtree node template has a frame based runtime. Frame is a library to code that allows you to view subtree runtime by composing modules called palettes. You can think of the palettes as the individual pieces of logic that define you what your blockchain can do. Subtray provides you with the number of the previewed palettes for use of frame-based runtimes. Uh, some palette have the load and see over collective assets, treasury, timestamp, grandparent, pseudo, and elections fragment. And this palette we use in the one time. Yeah, you can see. And this tutorial shows you how to create your own frame card to be included in your custom blockchain. So let's ready. Set up the scaffolding for your card. This tutorial demonstrates how to create a custom card from the scratch. Therefore, the first step is to remove some files and content from the files in the node template directory. Now you start with the terminal you want to and change to the palace templates at RC directory that run it following command. Okay, we the first step go to the node. Go to the node template. To the palettes, SCR is the main file of the uh, REST project. Copy. So step three: remove the following files. And you see. Go to the node template and go to the 
Palace Temple and it's RC and if you see three file in that you can delete it. Mm, I did it before in my bin. Okay, you can see it in my trash. Example bin. Yeah, it's really why I delete it before. So, step 4, open the palette template, src ellipse, yeah, you can go to this folder, and go to the node, go to the palette template, src, and open for it. This file, this file contain code that you can use as a template for the new palette. You won't be using template code in this tutorial. However, you can review template code to what it provides before you delete it. Yeah. Mm. Maybe in the first time you will delete all the code in this file and replace it with this code. Okay. Holders for events, arrows, storage, and codable functions, and will replace the two blocks step by step with the full PLE palette and save your changes. Yeah, I will save it and I will check it the node template one time here after tracking the node template you will view it with this code After view it, well, we will go to the next step to configure the palette to any events. Every palette has a tray called a config. This trait is used to set an interface for the frame system and sets a required associate type to be concrete. Defined in the runtime that included this part. For this tutorial, the configuration setting only enables the part emit elements. As almost every part does, to define the config tree for the proof of existence value, open the part template as your. Okay, this. This file and update the power config block with match following code block. You can see the power config this, and you will copy this to this file.
of impairment current and events. Now that you reconfigured the current to emit events, you are ready to refine those events. As described in design the application, the previous extension ballot emits an event under the following conditions. When a new perk is added to the blockchain and when the perk is revoked. So we have two events. Uh, each event also display an account ID to identify who triggered the event and the proof of its hesitance data as a valid vector and a slide in hash that is being stored and removed by convenience each event included an array with the discrete names for its parameters to implement the pilot event under the pilot event block to match for following code block. You can see the pilot event. Yeah. And you will copy this and add to events of pilot. Uh, we have two events. Uh, created and revoked. So, included palette arrows. The events you define indicate when calls to the palette have completed successfully. Arrows indicate when you call has started and why it has failed. For this tutorial, you will define the following error conditions. An attempt to claim a proof that has already been claimed. An attempt to revoke a proof that does not exist. An attempt to revoke a proof that has been claimed by another account. To implement the arrows for the proof of acceptance spelled replace to do this error block line with the following code block. Yep. You can add it to your file. Put arrow. And we have a three condition. Okay. Implement a storage map to store items. To add new proof to the blockchain, the proof of existence value requires a storage merchandise. To address this requirement, you can create a hash map. See hash map. The keys with the name in the hash function, and you can bucket it to the number. So that maps each proof to its owner and records the block number when proof was made. To create this hash map, you can use the frame storage map trait. Storage map. In any many function to hash your data, To implement storage for a proof of this, as it is valid, replace the storage block by this code. Here we have 
the storage you know, is way big. This is storage. You will copy it and add it to your file. Next, you will implement callable functions. The program extends hesitance how it exposes to callable functions to users. Let's say the create queen and revert queen. It's like the function before. You can see create and revert. So these functions use the storage command to implement the following logic. If the proof has the owner and a block number, then it will claim. If the proof does not have the owner and block number, when it is available to claim and write in the storage. To implement this logic, in the proof of hesitance valid, we place the to-do palette call by this code. We will copy it in the config. It is a create plane and it is paper plane. Yeah, you can copy it and add it to this file. At this point, you have to call it palette. Now, to use the palette, you must correctly configure it in your runtime. must vice in hash runtime configuration. You should be curious that the proof of extensions how it uses the bound factor time for proofs. But as far you have no concrete notion notion of what must buy hash is this content should be set in the one time to something reasonable for use in your blockchain. One very typical hash type used in many Web3 applications is a CID. You can take a look at CID. The content identifier specification. Can contain a trusted identifier use cryptographic hashes to a tree contain a tracing it use several multi formats to a tree flexible style description namely multi hash for hashes multi products for a data content type and Multi base to encode the C I T itself in two strings. Yeah. The V1 ins instance of these is typically less than 64 bytes in length. So here we specify max mine hat hash to be this length or this in one time. Now you open it. 
open the runtime folder and go to the SCR, go to the list and save it. Template config. Go to the template config. You can search it. Yes, it's a config for runtime. So pilot task them. You will need to find the pilot template. Copy it and search. Yes. You pilot template. You will take a quick foreign time and copy it with the mass bytes in harsh. And minimum is the CP4. For that, now save the changes and close the file. Yes, after add it to your file, you can save and close. And now you go to the one time. Something not working, there's a full node template solution. You can download here. If it's not working, so check time is go on to a little minute and waiting for that. Here, after check. Your runtime, you can build the runtime with your new term, new palette. Okay. <laughs> After you copy it, all the parts of the existence palette into the palette template name file, you are ready to compile and start a note. And you can run by color build. Release. can build a job code with a some several change. Oh. Yeah, waiting for a minute. Okay, after you compile, you everything ready to start. Running node. Yeah. Your node is running, and now you will run the front end component. This is easy to do by open the front end. Template. Go to SRC. Go to template module. Template module here. And create all and copy. Copy this code to the. File. Okay. 
you will copy it to this you can see I'll copy it before and after that to can save and close the file so now you will open the new terminal Install your NVM. And you run join. At first, you need to go to the front end file. The substrate and template and start the NDM. Yeah, I started the form. Its version is a sixteen fifteen zero. You will start join. Yeah, after you install join your front end, you will start trying to see your front end. Yeah. And after that, you can see the serving at the local option, the 8000. Yeah, after you start the yarn, you can see your front end of the node. It's funny. And as you can see, it's current block and current account. Yeah. And what's next you can track is the previous residence. So you can add your file. Maybe I will keep my image in the blockchain so you can create a plane take your ownership file then you can verify it by green created. Yes. Wait for a minute. Yeah. Then this is created by my owner, the Alex. I the block the 81 with the hash code here. The front end component recognizes that the file is now printed and gives you the option to revert the print. And remember, the, only the owner can revert the print. If you select another user, it can you the revert option is visible. So, we use the Alice cow. You can revert clean. Now I change the cow to the Bob. Yeah. 
this uh, this all this all about the proof of hesitance and so goodbye and see you at the next lesson goodbye